we're going to talk about the characters that you will play in Somewhere in the Heavens They Are Waiting. During setup, each player chooses one of the following player cards. Gabriel, the Griffin's Artificial Intelligence. Jones, the Intelligence Officer. Garrett, the Ballistics Officer. Blake, the Engineering Officer. Strauss, the Science Officer. Or Kirkpatrick, the Navigation Officer. You will notice that each character has a colored stripe. This indicates their card color and token color when we set up the rest of the game. Those of you familiar with the video game Marathon will definitely notice those names. And I've got Easter eggs all throughout the game so that you can enjoy a little bit of nostalgia. Let's talk about each one individually now. Gabriel is the Griffin's artificial intelligence. And when a player chooses to play as Gabriel, they get to choose one of three upgrade cards to start the game. The Gabriel player also receives the D8 die. This is placed on the shield level space of his card. It begins with a full shield level of 8. As the game progresses, Gabriel will encounter events that might damage his shields, and so each time Gabriel receives damage, the shield level die will decrease by one point. When a player chooses to play as Gabriel, they will be the one that controls the web app, which drives the story forward, where choices are made, trigger spaces are chosen, and read aloud. Officer Jones is the intelligence officer. He is the captain of the ship. Now, in a solo game, which you can solo this game, um, you must play as Gabriel and Officer Jones, although it won't, won't be quite as interesting uh, because you will get to see the trigger spaces as the player, the officer players move across the map, but you can solo the game using both Gabriel and Officer Jones. Let's talk about Officer Jones, though, by himself. Officer Jones is the captain of the ship, and as you can see, he has this emblem here, captain of the ship. As captain of the ship, the Jones player can spend one silver to summon Gabriel for help during missions. So when the players, the officer players are on the mission map, Officer Jones at any time can spend one silver to summon Gabriel for help. And those actions that Gabriel can help with are shown in the web app. You see that Officer Jones, as all the others, they have a space for oxygen upgrade, cloaking upgrade, energy shield upgrade. These are the suit module upgrade slots. And just like the other officers, the primary weapon can upgrade twice, the secondary weapon can upgrade once. Officer Jones can upgrade using three actions, he can train using three actions, and he can research using three actions. Now these are the action tokens that each player, officer player, receives during setup. They receive six of these action tokens. Officer Garrett. Officer Garrett is the ballistics officer. He is the weapons specialist. Officer Garrett's special ability is man at arms. Garrett can draw one extra battle card during attacks that use a weapon. So anytime he is using a weapon, now there are attacks that can be used um, that don't include a weapon, but anytime that Garrett uses a weapon, he can draw one extra battle card. And his actions he can take, he can upgrade for three actions, he can train using four action tokens, and he can research using five. So as you can see, he's kind of a brute. He doesn't research as well as the other officers. Again, just to clarify, these numbers correspond to the number of action tokens used to do each of these actions. Let's talk about Blake. Blake is the engineering officer. Blake's special ability is efficient engineer. Blake can discard one element token 
to add plus five to a defense roll during battle. So if he has any element tokens that he picks up during missions, he can use those to add defense to his roll. Blake's actions, he can upgrade for two action tokens. He can train for four and also research for four. I'll talk about these actions in another video. Strauss. Strauss is the science officer. Strauss, he is the salubrious scientist. I'll let you look that one up in the dictionary. Strauss can use half a shield crystal to retrofit any suit module cube to another slot during battle. He can use half a shield crystal to retrofit any suit module upgrade to another slot during battle. So let's say Strauss has has his suit crystal chips here and let's say he is cloaked. During battle he can actually reroute this suit crystal basically taking one damage and he can retrofit this to any other slot. So if he wanted his cloaking to become an energy shield he can do that. Now this happens during battle and he must take one damage to be able to do that. Actions. He can upgrade for three he can train for five and he can research for three. Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick is the navigation officer. Kirkpatrick's special ability is Savvy Navigator. Kirkpatrick can earn one silver when he spends four or more actions to support Gabriel. So at the beginning of the journey phase, each officer takes actions using up their six tokens. Now if they don't use all the tokens, they can actually give their action tokens to Gabriel as support. That's the only way that Gabriel can get more than one action. So when Kirkpatrick gives his action tokens up to Gabriel, four or more, he earns one silver, and silver can be used to upgrade weapons and purchase weapons. And Kirkpatrick's actions are upgrade for three, he can train for five, and he can research for four. That is our slate of characters for somewhere in the heavens they are waiting. In my next video I will talk about the weapon cards and the weapons that each officer can use.